he lived a life that most of us can only dream of. Wing Commander Kenneth Horatio Wallace, war hero, aviation pioneer and James Bond stunt double, died on Sunday, aged 97. His legacy spreads across Norfolk and beyond. A model of his famous little Nelly autogyro, which he flew as a stunt double for Sean Connery in You Only Live Twice, stands at the Norfolk and Suffolk Aviation Museum. The museum has a hall dedicated to the former Wellington bomber pilot, and its curator was among those to pay tribute to one of Norfolk's most remarkable men. In Ron Eiffel's terms, I suppose you'd say that he was an officer and a gentleman. You know, uh, you could speak to him about anything, and, you know, aeronautical, and he took interest in it. I think he was inoculated with aviation when he was born, you know, from his father and uncle. You know, it seemed to be in his blood, aviation all the time. And, uh, you know, his memory was so good, you know, even up till June when he was here. You know, when his, uh, a friend brought him here for the day. And uh, his memory then, I mean, he would talk for three hours non-stop with that script. Wing Commander Wallace flew in more than 20 bombing missions in the Second World War. He was made an MBE in 1996, but he didn't receive his Bomber Command Medal until this summer. He was always happiest among his collection of hand-built autogyros in his workshop at Raymiston Hall near Deerham. He used the machines to set 34 world records and even helped search for the Loch Ness Monster. But he would never have got to live out those flying dreams if he hadn't cheated in an army eye test in 1939. The doctor sat me down and he covered up my right eye, which was a bad eye. I read right to the bottom line with my good eye and he then covered up my good eye for me to read to the bottom line again, or try to, but he was looking at the letters that um, you have to read because he pressed a button to change the letters, you see. He didn't look at me, he was looking at the letters. And he said, right, read them to the bottom, you know, read them again, Boris. I turned my head sideways and saw past the black patch. I read to the bottom line, I was in. Wing Commander Wallace will be remembered in Ramiston for generations to come. His gyrocopter is carved into the village sign. But his incredible story has spread much further than that, ensuring he will always be remembered as not just a Norfolk treasure, but a national one. We'll never replace him. He was a one-off. They broke the mould when he was born, I'm afraid. You know, he'll never be replaced as, you know, he'll never replace Ken Wallace.